Hello everyone, welcome to December Empties. This past year, I decided to do my empties videos every other month. The way it fell, it would have been December and January. So I decided let's just finish out the year and we'll start with a clean slate in 2022. So with that, I do bring you the empties for the month of December. Again, this is in all areas. It's beauty, uh, supplements, lifestyle, food, beverage. There's going to be a lot of beverage in today's. But before I get started, I do want to say I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. We are a few days away from the new year. This is also the time of the year when many people make new goals or intentions for the new year. Last week, I published a video to help you prepare and plan for what those new goals may be or what they look like for you. Be sure to check that video out. It will be linked in the description box below today's video. As always, outfit and beauty details will also be available for you. If you click the very top link in the description box below, it will direct you to the corresponding blog post where you will see photos of what I'm wearing today as well as links to everything. The other thing that I want to share is with it being the new year or us approaching the new year, there is a workshop being done by Hensel Coaching and Consulting in a couple of weeks. It's a vision board workshop. This is our second Second year bringing this to you, I highly encourage you to take advantage of that if you have a hard time figuring out what your goals will be. This vision board workshop will give you that vision. So the link to get more information and to register for that will also be in the description box below. So without further ado, let's tackle the December empties. Like every single month, links will be to everything that I share with you today. If I show something that I tried that was new that I wouldn't repurchase, I'll be sure to mention that. But everything that I share with you today typically is on repeat and we're going to start with the number 10 scalpel that I use to derma blade or dermaplane my face. I typically go through about one of these per month so you do see this on repeat. Exfoliating cotton rounds emptied one of these. I always use exfoliating. I'm not brand loyal. I usually just go with a generic from the store that I purchase it at, but I do require exfoliating. Used up my favorite mask by Alia Skin. It's the Australian pink clay mask. I've been using this and talking about it for years. I really love it. I noticed it's not available when I went to purchase. Well, I can't say that it's available but the shipping was delayed and I really wanted to get my hands on one because I've been doing this mask about once or twice a week for the last several weeks or last few months. Uh, I love it. I set it out with my workout clothes before I go to bed at night and it's a reminder for me to put it on first thing in the morning and I wear it while I'm working out, typically on days like today when I'm going to be applying makeup. Because the shipping is was delayed on this, I don't know if it still is, I will have it linked, I decided to try another brand which is by Skinberry, again, Australian pink clay mask, much cheaper than the Alia Skin, and I found it to be pretty much identical. So check out the Skinberry one if you are in the market for a really great mask. Some other masks that I did is this charcoal pore mask, collagen firming mask, and the Aven or Avene, not exactly sure, I think it's Aven, A oxidative mask, antioxidant protection. Uh, these were all great. I didn't purchase any of them. They either came, they, t they came with something else that I purchased, but I did like them. I'm not someone who tip, well, again, I just, I don't really purchase masks anymore. I just stick with my Australian or Himalayan, whatever, pink clay mask because I love it so much. So it, I just don't really, if it's sent to me, I'll use it. That, that, or, or if it comes with something, I'll use it. But as far as purchasing, I just stick with the one that I love. Here we have Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. This is actually for body. My dermatologist recommended it for moisturizing the face if you have really dry skin. 
I don't typically use this on the face because I don't have really dry skin, but Paul started using it and he cannot be without it. So there's always a jumbo one. It is great. I would highly recommend it. Again, my dermatologist recommended it. So if you really need a really good moisturizer, even for the body, this would be a great one. Used up a favorite foundation. The only foundation that I've been using for the last probably at least two years, Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup, and I am 3N1 Ivory Beige. Used up two Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, a favorite. I've just been sticking with this mascara as well because I love it. I don't think I've used another mascara in the last couple of years. This is not my product, it is Paul's, but he has used it forever, forever. Literally, we've been married almost 30 years. I, I don't know that he's never not used this. It's the Suave <laughs> Max Hold Hairspray Number no. 8. There you go, I just thought I would share it. Another item of Paul's that he cannot be without, very brand loyal to that Suave and the Gillette Foamy Sensitive Skin Shave Foam. Speaking of shaving, we have the Gillette Mach 3 Razor Cartridge Refill. I will have the razor linked as well. Show this every single month. A hair product always on repeat for me is by Tressa. It's the Watercolors Root Concealer in Dark Brown. For 2022, I am starting to schedule my hair color touch-ups closer together. So I've been going every five weeks. And I would say for the last couple of years, I could have I could have been going every four. I really probably could go every three now for my color touch-up. This saves me as well as a couple other products that I use. I actually have a video where I talk about the products that I use to cover my gray in between color touch-ups. But for 2022, I now am going to go every four weeks and I'm not going to do a hair trim. I'm going to do a trim or a cut if I get a new style every other visit. So I was getting my hair colored and cut every five weeks. Now I will be getting a color touch up every four weeks and a trim on every eight weeks. So we'll see how that goes. I will definitely keep you posted, but this is a lifesaver, definitely recommend it. Comes in many different shades as all of the little color touch-ups that I use, but definitely recommend this. Colgate toothpaste, not picky about my toothpaste. I am picky about my teeth whitening though, and I love the Opalescence Go teeth whitening system. You probably see this at least every month or every other. I whiten my teeth with these trays twice per week. Used it today, always on days that I do makeup and hair and get ready, which is usually only about two days per week. We also have a retainer bright cleaning tablets. These are the tablets that we use to clean our Invisalign or permanent trays. Picked up a Chapstick Spa Collection three pack. I do like the Chapstick Lip Balm. Paul always uses the original, but I picked this one up uh, right before Haley came home for the holiday season. She always likes to have a lip balm and I always like to to make sure that I stock that spare bedroom. I have a video where I show you how I stock the spare bedroom when we are going to have guests or kids come and stay. Emptied a L'Occitane Delicious Soap. You know I always mix it with the skin oil. Both will be linked. Also used up, or no, sorry, the shower gel. The shower gel is what I mix with the soap. What I mix with the milk concentrate is the supple skin oil. I I purchased the refill pouch. So I will save this and I will squeeze the refill pouch into this jar. I do have another full jar. It's nice to have a couple, but typically I just do the refill and fill it up. I will have both linked. This is the Molten Brown Bath and Shower Gel in Coastal Cypress and Sea Fennel. This was nice. I used it up. Why not? It was a free gift with something, but very nice. I do believe you can purchase this in a kit. I think for holiday you could anyway, 
but uh, yeah, I would recommend it. We have a Bath and Body Works hand soap. This is in Sunshine and Lemons. I believe Pips went to Bath and Body Works one time this past year, and sometimes she'll come home with a soap for me, which is really nice. I think she picked this one up. Paul's one and only deodorant, the men degree 48 hour and cool rush. He picks up the big pack at Sam's Club. I have a fragrance here that I love. I had a couple of these and I'm wearing, I'm wearing the remnants of this today. It's such a divine scent. It's by Replica and this is by the fireplace. If you like a smoky, sultry, sexy, warm scent, perfect for the winter season, this is a dandy. I love it. I would love to have a bottle of this. We'll think about that maybe next year. Um, I wouldn't wear this in spring and summer because it just doesn't have that, that type of scent that I like during that time of the year, but fall, winter, mm, love. We have some clear eyes, redness relief. I'm not really picky about my eye drops. I don't, I don't really struggle with dry eye, but because my sleep is compromised so much, happy perimenopause, <laughs> mental pause. <laughs> uh, sometimes because I just don't get a good night's sleep, I do need drops. Didn't get a good night's sleep last night, hence I used some eye drops, so clear eyes. Every once in a while I show you Paul's readers because he, he breaks them often. He probably has 20 pair all over the place, um, and they're always these exact ones, so they're linked <laughs> if you need some readers. Playtex Sport, the only kind of tampons I buy in Super Plus. We have some always ultra thin size two panty, no, no, these are pads. Yeah, these were pads, so and, long, and they're long, long super, probably for bedtime. Typically the very first night that or the first day I start my period, you know you really want to know this, right? You really want to know. Well, actually, you probably do. People, I mean, I wouldn't mind knowing these things. <laughs> I just want to know I'm not alone, right? The first day of my period, I, I need to have a tampon isn't enough. Let's just leave it at that. We also have some everyday liners, just more, you know, panty liners, the things that we need. <laughs> I was just thinking, I don't know what it is, but it seems like the days that I film my empties are days I don't feel super great. It, it's usually a day I didn't sleep well the night before. And maybe that explains why, why I'm just all over the place. Okay, I have a few items that Paul threw in here for me, or let me see where we're at. So we have some something by Apple, a USB-C 20 watt, 20 watt power adapter, and then it says cord. I don't know, it'll be linked. <laughs> I don't know. We also have an electrical cord strip. Typically, I need one of these for filming. I'm looking at the new one right now. It's over there, and I'm all plugged into it with all of my lights. Um, this was pretty dangerous. Luckily, there's some tape over top, but we need to really start baby-proofing the house because Bug is now seven months, and you know she's gonna be moving soon, and we need to make sure we're prepared for that. I've been using my unscented tea lights like crazy. I make sure I have these year round. They're just plain white, unscented. Let me just share a candle tip. I, I love scented candles, depending on the scent. Not all scents am I fond of. I love that warm, smoky, sultry scent. Those are my favorite. Or like an amber, just, I love, that's, that's my scent for sure. Not so much the, the clean scents, but more that, that smoky, sultry, tobacco, whatever, all of those. I don't like burning a scented candle if, if I'm gonna be competing with the smell or the aroma of food. So if we have chili on, I don't want anyone to be able to smell my candle, I want them to smell the chili or if I'm baking something. So that's one thing. It's nice to have a scented candle in certain areas like a bathroom that guests will use, but I feel like the main area of the home where there could be food 
you don't want to compete with that aroma. So these little white unscented tea lights are perfect. Speaking of a scented candle, I do have a pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath and Body Works. I believe Pips picked this one up as well and, and gave it to me. I think she knows I like this scent. Moving into a couple of supplements, we have the 60 billion probiotic. I show this every single month. I am now on auto ship with this because there's 30 in here. So that's why you see my probiotic every single empties. But I just decided to do the little savings and do auto ship. This pre-workout supplement was Pips. She had it for swim and then when swim ended, there were a whole bunch of little containers left and I didn't want to see them go to waste. So I ended up, I, I needed to replace my pre-workout supplement, which is by Advocare, Advocare Spark. I'll make sure I link it. But I decided I'm just gonna use up her little pre-workout energy drink instead. These are 20 calories. So I, I think even mine may have a few calories. So if you're an intermittent faster, you wouldn't want to have something like this, but these were great. They actually tasted really good. And I do feel like they did give me a boost of energy, but I think I'm just going to stick with what I have. Um, I'm not going to replace these, but I did like them. And I love how they came in little individual tubes to make it really convenient for you to pour in your water and shake it up. So I would recommend them, but just understand there is zero sugar, there's two net carbs, but there is 20 calories. So you would want to make sure that you pay attention to that. Snuggle, super fresh and original. This is the only fabric softener that I use. Emptied a press and seal. This is always what I use. I don't buy saran wrap. Uh, when press and seal first came out, oh, I was like, this is so great because it actually sticks where saran wrap to me does not. So we always have press and seal on hand. Last week leading up to Christmas, I did a three day juice cleanse with raw fountain. Many of you did the juice cleanse with me. I will periodically be incorporating these juices. I would say at least once a month, I will be doing a three day cleanse throughout 2022. I will always let you know. So if you want to do it, do the juice cleanse with me, would love to have you join me. You can, you can get a discount if you use my code, which is coach Hensel at checkout. And yeah, they're really good too. If you are cleaning up your diet going into the new year, a couple of uh, protein sources that I can recommend. One is chunk light tuna in the pouches. I always have these on hand. You don't need to add anything. Don't get into that habit. Just eat, empty the pouch or eat it out of the pouch, whatever serves you, but don't add anything because that just adds, right? Wild sockeye salmon. This is fantastic if you are incorporating a healthy lifestyle and if you especially want to go low carb so good. You're not going to get into any trouble with this, but you definitely have to like salmon. If you don't like salmon, don't buy this. It, it's, you're not, it's not going to be for you <laughs> and that's okay. There's plenty of great sources of protein. Maybe you're a chicken eater. Um, if you like beef, a flank steak would be fantastic for you to clean up your diet. A good healthy fat with flank steak, very lean. Um, that would be one that I would recommend if that's your choice of, of going with an animal meat. Cars crackers. I love cars crackers. When we entertain, we always have cars crackers on hand. This one happened to be the rosemary, but I always keep the original on hand. They are great with everything. I do want to recommend a great uh, I, I cook from scratch, almost everything I cook from scratch, but sometimes we have to have little, little containers on hand when we entertain. And this spinach artichoke in Parmesan dip and spread by La Terra Fina, excellent. I mean, excellent. I would not be able to keep something like this on hand because I would get into it but for entertaining, love it. A couple of chocolates that I had on hand, and this would have been limited edition, and now that we're through the holidays, you probably wouldn't pick these up, but maybe make a note in your Christmas 2022 document that I just talked about a few days ago on uh, Instagram stories. The peppermint cookie, Lindor truffles were a favorite. 
I did not try these and there's a reason because if I try it and I like it in a weak moment, I would go to this. So because I don't know what I'm missing, <laughs> it, it, it saves me. You have to know you. And, and most people would think, what's the big deal? It's not a big deal. It's just, I know what works for me and it's better for me not to even try it. But everyone in the family loved these. They were definitely popular anytime someone came over to visit. Another pouch. And then another one is the 70% Cocoa Dark Chocolate Shell in Extra Dark of the Lince Lindor. These are really good if you like a more dark chocolate. We do go through a lot of alcohol during the holiday season. The biggest reason is we entertain. I don't typically drink anything alcohol. As much as I love wine, I don't typically drink wine just to drink wine around the home. The only time I will drink alcohol is if we're entertaining in the home. And obviously if I go out to dinner or something, I will have wine. Now, if we entertain, let's say on a Saturday, and there's leftover wine. I will polish that wine off the next day. I don't like to keep opened wine. I, I feel like it goes bad. It does for me. So the next day I want to get it used up and that's typically when I will have wine even though we're not entertaining. It's really just to use up the bottle. Rum chata. This is dangerous for me. I love it in my coffee. I love it on ice. I love to make an iced coffee. So this is not something I can have around. And again, you just have to know you. It's so good, but it is so loaded with sugar and fat because it's a cream. This would not align with someone who is trying to even manage their weight. So this is a special treat, but when we entertain, a lot of times we will have it out by the coffee or if anyone wants it. The peppermint bark is also fantastic if you like more of the peppermint flavor. I prefer the original, but a lot of people do like the peppermint and it's perfect for the holiday season. Now I am actually filming this video about three days before Christmas. There's going to be probably at least six more bottles of these polished off between Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and even this coming week. I have a couple saved for New Year. This is Prosecco. I use this in my holiday punch that I shared on Instagram stories. And then I also use, use it for Christmas for mimosas. I have a lot of wine to share with you. A lot of Riesling, some Chardonnay. So we have Flourish Chardonnay, definitely a great one. Edna Valley, very pleased with this Chardonnay, would definitely recommend. I've talked about the Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc many times, definitely recommend this as well. We have a Riesling here, Arcturus. Arcturus, this is a Michigan Riesling. I typically like my Rieslings to be from a region in Germany. Uh, but this one was really good. This was gifted to me. We also have a late harvest Riesling, also from Michigan. This is a good one, Chateau Grand Travers. And then I have three bottles of this Riesling, Marcus Molitor. <laughs> and something's at the door. <laughs> or someone, a package. Three bottles of this that we polished off one day when we were entertaining. Now, again, I am filming this before Christmas, so the next time I do an empties video, you'll probably see a lot of wine that we drink over the holidays. If you do need to ration yourself with wine, some people do, <laughs> and you know if you open a bottle, you'll finish the bottle, then these little boxes by Black Box are perfect. If you cook with wine, this is always a great option. When my second daughter Haley comes home for the holiday season, she's here for a quite lengthy amount of time and like me, she likes her wine. So a lot of times she'll want to open a bottle, but I feel like what happens is I end up drinking more wine when I really don't want, well, I do want to drink more wine, but it doesn't really serve me in maintaining my weight window. So sometimes I'll just buy her one of these boxes to get her through a couple of days and then I don't feel inclined to help her polish off a bottle. 
if you catch me. Well, there you go. There, there's the December empties. I will be back the end of February for January and February empties. This is a series that you guys always look forward to. So I'm happy to bring it to you, even though a lot of the items I share are on repeat. Don't forget, links are available for everything that I shared with you today, as well as Outfit and Beauty. Like always, click that very top link, which will take you to the corresponding blog post to have an easier time shopping. Also check out the workshop that's coming up from Hensel Coaching and Consulting. Coach Christine will be facilitating that. Again, it's the second year because last year it was such a big hit. Also check out the replay tab. Uh, we have a lot of great workshops and webinars that you can purchase the replay. Those don't expire once they're sent to you. You're free to use it at your own convenience. Uh, the Organize tomorrow, today, planning next week, this week. That's a great workshop that's been very popular. Check that out, especially going into the new year. All right, well with that, I will be back on Christmas Eve with my annual bloopers, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, have a great last week of the year. All right, take care.